So I'm just going to cover uh, centripetal acceleration and centripetal force um, very quickly, give you the formulas, talk about it quick, and then I'll give you just a couple practice problems today to work on. And then um, for Thursday, we'll move on to torque. Um, so if we look at centripetal acceleration, here's our formula. Acceleration, again, is in meters per second squared. Um, to calculate centripetal acceleration, which is um, labeled with the variable A, um, subscript C, equals velocity squared divided by the radius. So um, an object, as it moves around the circle, even if it's going at a constant speed, it's always changing direction. So it's always accelerating due to that change in direction. So um, that acceleration, we call this centripetal acceleration, and we calculate that with the, the linear velocity squared um, divided by the radius. Okay? Um, if a mass is being accelerated around a circle, um, that force we call the centripetal force. We label that with our F um, subscript C. It's going to be equal to the mass times the ex centripetal acceleration or the mass times V squared over R. Um, we'll shorten it up into that. The units for our centripetal force, um, force is going to be a newton still, um, and we write that as m times v squared over r. So if we're trying to calculate the acceleration, we're going to use this one. If you're trying to calculate the force of um, the mass of an object going around the circle, you're going to use um, this formula. 